James is up next right here in Nashville, Tennessee. James, welcome to the show. Hello. Hey. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for taking my call, and uh, thank you for your show. It's been very helpful. Absolutely. Oh, glad to hear it. Yes. What's going on with you? Well, I sold my house, and um, I'm sitting on about 240000 and uh, it's just sitting in a bank doing nothing for me. And also, I have some annuities as well that are matured, which... Uh, which I'm looking to uh, maybe dollar, I can start collecting on that, but it's, it's like a long-term payout, you know? Mm-hmm. So I thought I might start getting that, have it all deposited into a bank account and maybe dollar cost average that into some sort of investment that's uh, maybe a, a diversification of things that are a little higher risk and some more safe. Um, How old are you? I am 62. All right. Do you have any other retirement? Do you have a nest egg? Well, I, my income is tax-free. It's annuity as well, and uh, it was from an action I had been in years ago, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I mean, my income is pretty good. I get about 5500 a month. Mm-hmm. 5500 a month. And, and, and it's tax-free, and it's all tax-free. And too. is that guaranteed for the rest of your life or what? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, and that's essentially your retirement? Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. All right. Well, and you're not, you said you sold the house. Where are you living now? Um, actually, I'm, I, I've got another place. I just just right across the river here on the Cumberland River, and uh, I'm just I'm doing the same thing here. Just a little RV property. I'm looking to live a more, uh, you know, more traveling type uh, uh, of uh, lifestyle for a while while I can. You know, cool. Until I'm too old to do it. And I, I have another property up north, which I was going to develop it and put a barn on it, and make it RV friendly, like a seasonal type uh, property. Up and that there. is the property paid off. Everything's paid off. I'm debt RV? free. Oh, RV? I love it. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and yeah. what what other money do you have in in savings? You said you have two forty. Any yeah, other cash? A, well, that's about it. And I have about sixty in the, the annuities I was telling you about. They're pretty much matured. Two of them are. I've just been letting it ride for the last couple of years <clears throat> because uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it. And it's a long term payout too on some of that. Probably most of it. Um, so I was thinking about taking that and, like I say, dollar cost. Uh, and I have that deposit into an account, and I find the right investment and have that dollar cost into, you know, I'm thinking there's going to be some bargains going on with the way the economy is. It's getting ready to tank or if it hadn't, you know. <laughs> you know well, I, I like dollar cost averaging, and if you want to do that into mutual funds, index funds, you know, don't do this into single stocks or anything volatile. Right. But yeah. that that would be a good plan. And the rest of the 240, if you want to, I would, if you're going to need it liquid cash in the next few years for anything you're doing, I would put it in a high yield savings account for now. But if you're talking, you know, four, five, six plus years out, you can invest that. And I like the idea of dollar cost averaging it. You could also lump sum it. Yeah, yeah. I'd like the dollar cost. You know, this way I get to uh, ride the market on its way down and a little bit on its way back up and maybe sit up. That's sit good. Back for a That's while good. And then you go ahead and cash it all in in a, in a few years and then just, you know, live off the rest. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, you know, kick my li- lifestyle up a little bit as. Uh, well, I'd, I'd be looking at my future work. goals, James, and going, all right, do I want to put this towards the farm that I want to rebuild. You know, you want to have liquid cash for that. I don't want it fluctuating in the market and you take a big hit on it because you wanted to invest it and all of a sudden the market dipped a little and now it hurts emotionally to take that money out at a loss. So leave as much as you need in cash in a high yield savings account. That'll grow at about three or 4% right now in a good online high yield savings account. The rest I would uh, put towards those goals, whether that's investing or using. Way to go, man. 